Hello friends, welcome to Global Online University. So these are the 10 topics from the teaching aptitude paper 1 for the set and net examination. Today, in today's episode, I will be covering teaching aptitude uh, MCQs. So to begin with, the rules are simple. Pause the video when question appears on your screen and try to answer. So the trick for teaching aptitude section is all you need is to read the question carefully. Once you read it two three times, you'll come across the answer. Only it will have uh, you will have confusion between one or two options. So most of the time you will be able to answer it once you read the question carefully. Now moving on to the questions. The first question is what is the main purpose of the punishment to the students? So friends to demonstrate the authority so that cannot be the purpose of the punishment to protect others from doing to protect others from doing it so here this can be the answer now next is reform the offender sees and the d is retaliate for the wrong that has been done so it cannot be retaliate back uh, now the uh, question b answer option b and c uh, appears to be correct now the correct answer is to reform the offender so to protect other from doing doing the same is uh, it can be the answer but the correct answer is reform the offender so this is what our judicial uh, judiciary also says the punishment is to reform the offender okay so now moving on to the next question dash dash is the quality of a good teacher now to control over the emotions good command over the subject physical strength and sense of humor so the correct answer is a good command over the subject if a teacher has a good command over subject he will teach it fluently he will teach it with confidence if you don't have command over subject then everything else is uh, useless now the correct answer here is the good command over the subject i hope you have answered this correctly moving on to the third question on which list the education is in in the indian constitution so there you as you know there are three lists of the subject where central list is dealt exclusively by center and state list is dealt exclusively by state and concurrent list is a list where you have both state and center have almost equal say with say center having an upper hand now the education is placed in the concurrent list of the uh, constitution so friend uh, remember this so this is memory based question you have to remember that education is in concurrent list of the indian constitution now moving on to the next question you, you want to ensure participation of more students in the class which of the following method of teaching would you adopt so for participation of more students what one has to do it not a recitation will not it will not be a participation demonstration also will not be uh, you will not have more participation when you have discussion you will have more participation of the students student can exchange their views amongst themselves with you you can have you can exchange your views with students so this way the more participation the more students will participate so discussion is the way to increase the participation I remember this hope you have answered it correctly I'm moving on to the next question so next question is to make learning effective a goal must be meaningful in terms of uh, option is a objective of the curriculum b intellectual ideas c standards of other so c can be eliminated because standards of others cannot make the learning effective if you have uh, standards of other uh, is a goal then you cannot make it now intellectual ideas is it is for a research if you want uh, a research effective you should have more uh, intellectual ideas so that also cannot be uh, can be eliminated now objective of the curriculum and the needs and purpose of the student so these are the two options <coughs> i am uh, one can uh, think of now if you have objective of the curriculum in your mind so there your aim if you, that is your goal then it will be a narrow uh, thinking you will not move out of your objective of the curriculum the correct answer for this is the need and purpose of the students so you should understand the need and the purpose of students for making learning effective you cannot teach a hard or you cannot teach the advanced level things to the grade 1 or grade 5 students uh, so based on their grade based on their ability their needs and what is the purpose what is the output uh, you are expecting based on that you have to 
if that is your goal then learning will be effective so the correct answer is the need and purpose of the student moving on to the next question next question is which of the following items of the information are important for important about student to motivate them for studies so uh, to motivate them for studies the learning style is important to personality of individual is important socio cultural background of every student will be different that is also important so the correct answer is all of the above so the <coughs> these inf the important information is learning style personality social cultural background now moving on to the next question if you want to improve the ability to observe so observation ability in students if you want to increase what is which of the following would you recommend so here generating interest in the subject developing the framework for experience sharpening the senses and these training mental faculties so here it is also memory based question what uh, the answer for this is training mental faculties so mental faculties are the memory observation perception reasoning will judgment so if you train all those things then the ability to observe among the children will increase so remember that mental faculties are memory observation perception reasoning will judgment now moving on to the next question which is you want to develop cooperation and team spirit in student which activity would you propose so the four activities are art debate project work and quiz so friend this four of activity here art is it can be individual or it can be in uh, team but this is eliminated now three out of three debate project work and quiz the project work appears to be the correct answer as the, here you will have different task and when you have different task you have to have cooperation between them to carry out those tasks so the correct answer is project work now moving on to the next question so friends uh, this was it for today's episode share and subscribe to our channel global online university